What's up, everybody? It's your boy Josh with M O K Magic T G, and today we have the Secret Layer Super Summer Extra Special Ultimate Supreme Summer Set Edition, whatever they called it. Uh, it's got all kinds of names. To be completely honest, I almost forgot I'd ordered this. I ordered a couple sets of this. Um, you know, I usually always order a set uh, when these were coming out before I started my channel. I'd always open, I'd always order a set to open and a set or two to speculate on and stick on the shelf. So I, <laughs> I came home the other day and my wife said a package came in and I was like, a package? I wasn't expecting anything at the time and uh, it was a big box. Uh, because they managed to cram three sets of these into this big, obviously bigger than I can show on the screen, but uh, I don't know, it was probably three feet long and a foot wide. So at any rate, uh, I got it a couple days ago. I ended up filming another video and then uh, now I'll film this one. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open one of, of each of the uh, the drops in this super deluxe extreme extra super califragilistic expialidocious set that came out um and then i'm interested in this uh my assumption is based on just looking at the shipping label that came with this that this is a fetch land um but it's really cool i like it uh i've got three of these so i'm going to open this one and i'm going to leave the other two sealed to open in the future or do a giveaway or speculate on or who knows but we'll see so we're gonna we're gonna circle back around to that um, I don't know. Here, we'll just stack, move, and go straight into opening. Uh, so we got the path not traveled. Let's see what we got here. Um, you know, if they do anything with these things, they really package them well. I mean, this is a, it's a great box in a box. But, of course, everything's labeled really awesome. You know, you've got the tissue paper. You've got to have the tissue paper. But I mean, these are, you know, these look good on a shelf. Uh, they're cool to give. You know, you've got the Path Not Traveled. Of course, this is real 24 karat inlay gold. Um, you know, if you believe me, you uh, you need to get help if you think I'm telling the truth on that. All right, so let's see what we got up in the Path Not Traveled. And there is ooh, the hidden card that is like super glue down there from what I recall. All right, let's see what we got here. We got... Let's see how we're going to get these bad boys out. Is that all of them? Nope. Left one behind. All right. No planeswalker left behind here. Okay. All right. We got a Johnny Steadfast looking off, awfully cool. Kind of like Captain America or something, you know, for a planeswalker. So really cool. Man, you know, you spend so much money and you get warpage already. So uh, we'll, we'll sleeve those and see if we can fix that. But uh, yeah, always love Getting brand new cards already warped. Uh, we got Domri, nice and warped. Tamio Field Researcher with a very Indiana Jones look, in my opinion. And we got Old Vraska, you know. It says Swarm Queen, nice. That's really cool. Those are some pretty cool cards. I will sleeve those bad boys up, see if I can't straighten them out. Let's get them back back in their uh, little protective case for now. Let's see what we got here. There is some uh, some definite potential spiciness here. Oh, this isn't actually uh, this isn't actually like attached too terribly bad. Huh. The uh, little sticky stuff came off pretty easy on that one. Alright, well I didn't have to destroy here, when you put this back in here, then I didn't, I didn't have to really destroy that box. Well, okay, very cool, very satisfied with that. We'll stick you there. All right, three, two, one, flip. Oh, Domri. Okay, well, I mean, it's a stained glass planeswalker. Uh, <laughs> that coincidentally looks to have less warpage. Than the uh, than the box that we opened. All right, let's see what we got next. We've got ornithological studies, so we're getting all super scientific now. 
SAT word of the day, folks. Ornithological. Who says magic doesn't teach anything? All right. As per the usual, we got a box and a box and a box and a box. That's going to have to go on the floor for now. Because with all these boxes, I'm boxing, I'm boxing, I'm running out of space. All right, here we go. So, we got a swan. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get out of here. There we go. Let's see what we got here. We got a swan song, counter target enchantment, instant or sorcery spell. Its controller creates a two, 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 two blue bird creature token with flying. That's not foil. Okay, these aren't foil. Interesting. Birds of Paradiso. The old gilded goose that was just printed in uh, Throne. All right. Baleful Strix, which, you know, was literally just printed in Double Masters. All right. Dove's, Dovescape. Interesting birds. Um, gilded Goose, Baleful Strix. I mean, these are obviously decent cards. You know, a little birdie of Paradiso. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Even though they're not foil, it's almost like there's a little bit of bending and warpage there. Interesting. Let's see what we got uh, up in here. Up in here. Okay. Let's see if this one's stuck. You definitely, if you're opening these, want to pull this inner cardboard out to remove these uh, without just like reaching down in. And I mean, you could technically, um, the way that they've got the seam of the card on the plastic, you can grab it and pull. You know, that was actually way easier than. Uh, okay, the last time I opened some of these and they, they were these things were in here. And what I am noticing, this is the clear. I don't know if it matters. Let me see if I can get this off. I think this is the clear. This is the clear sticky stuff. Um, the last one I did, it was like a black sticky stuff. So I don't know if that's stickier or what, but it was like an act of Congress to get the card out. Let's see what we got. Three, two, one, flip. Ooh, we got some oogie action. Oogie. It's not a mythic, but we'll take it. Man, that's pretty. That's pretty, I'll take it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. We're going to move that. I'm going to put that there. Let's go up top. What do we got here? We got, can you feel with a heart of steel? And that is a question. If you have a heart of steel, can you feel? I feel like uh, maybe Tony Stark can answer that question. Granted, he didn't have a heart of steel per se. It was some metal up in there, that magnet. Getting the shrapnel out of his blood. All right, let's see if you can feel with a heart of steel what we got going on here. If I'm not mistaken, this was some uh, some robots, uh, walking ballistas and things like that, if I remember correctly. Man, uh-oh. This thing's, that little, this little tab in here is, I'm, uh, I'm seriously, am I doing something wrong? Is it a push box? No. Um, the little paper tab that these other ones have been having come out so easily, it's in there so hard that it's actually pulling the, the paper. Look at that. Jeez, I had to get a knife in there. This little tab that's kind of like plastic or leathery, it was stuck. And look, I had to pull so hard it was pulling... I now wonder if the plastic or the little uh, sticky rubber stuff that's holding the Planeswalker card down in there, if it was attached to this and keeping it from coming out. Um, let's see. It might have been because it was right there. Interesting. I've learned 
to not underestimate anything from our friends at Wizards. All right, here's what we got in this one. This is a really cool card. We got Arcbound Ravager, looking kind of like a janky Godzilla. Oh, man, that looks good. It probably isn't going to look... Well, it looks pretty good on cam. It looks real good in person. I'm going to be greedy for a second and look at it myself before I share with you guys. Man, Dark Steel Colossus. That is a pretty pimptastic card. It looks real good. Walking Ballista with a very like Gundam Transformer looking uh, artwork on there. I'm almost 99% sure that when I ordered this several months ago, it was obviously before Double Masters. I'm pretty sure spoilers weren't out yet. I'm pretty sure when this was ordered, we didn't know that we were getting some uh, some reprints. So, uh, granted, the artwork's different, and it's, it's completely different. Uh, it's just interesting that it's stuff that was literally just printed. Let's see if I can get this one out without having to pull... Uh, yeah, it's the rubber, I mean, it's the little, the sticky stuff on this one. Yeah, oh man, so you don't want to, it's like bending the card. Gosh, that's so stupid that they would do that, because you almost have to damage the card. I got, I, so, you know, you want to be careful pulling on these and stuff, because again, you don't want to bend it, and also you're having to like get up under it to cradle it and pop it out. There was like a nice uh, chunk of that sticky rubber stuff in there. But let's, let's see what we got here with my damaged box now. All right. Three, two, one, go. Karn! So see how sticky it was? It actually pulled the paper, ripped the paper off of the... Oh, yeah. See, this one's real sticky. Interesting. I don't normally take these out of uh, the plastic. I actually try to keep them in there, but Karn might have to come out because that stuff's... I was able to get it off the others, but but anyways, uh, Karn, a little stained glass action. Actually not, not bent. All right. The Tattoo Pack. We did so good on the first perforated tear earlier, and now we're not ripping all the way across. All right, this one's one that I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to, uh, I ordered the ones that are going to come out around Halloween. Uh, that It was a secret layer that just dropped this week, I think. I ordered a couple of those. I'm looking forward to that one because I really like the artwork, in my opinion. Uh, and I'll wind up mentioning on the video when I do those openings, but it looks very... Uh, it looks very Rick and Morty-ish to me on that artwork. For the oozes. I think that's what it is. It's the ooze. Full sleeves, the tattoo pack. I'm down with the ink and the sleeves. Man, this one's kind of kind of stuck too. I promise I'm not weak, folks. These things are like, I don't know if mine got heated or something or what. Yeah, it's even with me just using this just prying, it's ripping the paper off the box to try to get this tab. Oh, this is so stupid. You can see it. I don't know if you can quite, I don't know if the light's showing right there. Oh, there we go, right there. See that adhesive, that stickiness? This is a different type of like a plastic versus this paper and cardboard. Just meant to be a tab that pops in like right there, you know, to close it. But there's a stickiness on there, and then what happens is to try to open it, it rips the box. So I mean, you know, part of part of these secret layers in part is the presentation and the collectiveness for people that want to, you know, stick them on a shelf or have them, and you have to damage it to open it. I don't know. Let's take a look at this pretty cool artwork on some of these, you know, very Interesting stuff. Let's see what we got here. We got spell spell. We got spell pierce here, folks. 
you know, I am in Georgia, so suddenly, you know, every now and then that accent will come on out. Uh, we have spell pierce. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, I like it. I like it. Blood artist. I like it. Oh, okay. Eternal witness. Nice, nice. Oh, I haven't seen this card in a minute. I'm not talking about just this little artwork, but Piving Mule in general. Uh, nice. That's a pretty cool. All right. Who's going to go get some ink? I'm not getting this one on me. Maybe not even that one. Let's see. Is, would I get any of these with some ink? <laughs> uh, I'd have to think. Maybe Piving Needle would be what I'd do. I'd have to back off of that, that rose or that flower a little. But uh, Ink Moth Nexus. I mean, it's pretty cool for, you know, the moth and all, but not uh, not going to be a tattoo for me. Those are really cool. I really like the artwork on those. I do think, uh, you know, if anybody gets any of these as ink on their body, let me know. I'm just curious. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get this one out without a struggle. Let's see what we're working with here. Okay, this one's coming right off. All right. Look at that. That was easy. Too easy. Too easy. Let's see what we get. We got one more, and then we got the the bonus card, and then oh man, uh, I'm just forgetting. I'm having all this fun. Boom! Get yourself a code. Get you some packs of Core Twenty One. All right, let's see what we got here. A three, two, one. What do we got? Okay, we got Soren. Nice, nice. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. It'd be nice if we can get some mythics, maybe some lily action, maybe some, uh, maybe some Nicobolas. I mean, we're doing all right. I mean, we got Oogie and Karn, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. It's time for Mountain Go. Mountain Go. All right. There we go. I just had to get the good... A good pull. Ow. I actually hurt. I was just about to make a joke. I'm not supposed to do that motion. Uh, I had shoulder surgery uh, just two months or so ago, and I'm still rehabbing and stuff. Uh, in fact, some of my early videos... In fact, I started this, I think, right when I had shoulder surgery. Uh, some of my first videos, I'd actually... Now that I think about it, if I go back and look, I do think my first video was just a day or so after my surgery. I took my sling and everything off, and I put like a like a golf windbreaker pullover over because of, of all my bandages and stuff that I had and opening packs and stuff was hard because it's just using my my right hand but uh but yeah so like uh, I'm gonna do some yard work this weekend and I can't start the lawnmower with my right arm for that pulling motion but uh at any rate let's see ooh nice nice let's see what we got here these look Pimp-tastic. Oh, this is pretty. Lightning Bolt. I mean, it looks so much better in person than this. Oh. Oh. These might be some of my favorite right now. Got a Lightning Bolt striking a bear. Oh. A lightning bolt ripping out from the heavens and the skies with a dragoon flying. Oh, that is that is so cool. Let's see if I can... We've got a lightning bolt. Let me see if I can get a little autofocus at least here. Uh, and a little autofocus to zoom in. Boom. Come on. There we go. I mean, look at that. That's pretty awesome. I like it. These are really cool. This might be one of my uh, one of my favorite out of all these. All right, let's see what our last stained glass planeswalker is. Are you going to be easy to pull out? Yes, you are. Ish. Nope. Nope. Starting to bend the card. Nope. Let's see if I can get my fingers in there. Nope. Nope. Darn it. I thought it was just going to let loose, but it was starting to, oh man, 
this is ridiculous that you have to basically almost damage the card because the way that you're bending it jeez, I feel like I'm destroying this thing I feel like it's actually literally damaging the card like you're you're getting bends or damage on the side like I might take this one out of the plastic here in a second and look I just feel like it's damaging the card to get this thing out that's just so stupid that they put one of the most expensive pieces of this set you know a little value add at the freaking bottom like that and, and potentially damage it like I feel like the sides watch it be a mythic three two one go oh no row I guess if it was I guess if it is damaged at least it's just row come on this feels Well, it's definitely warped, and I can't tell if that's from trying to get it out. Hmm. Not impressed with some of that. They gotta, they gotta do a little R and D, a little R and D. You know, if you're gonna charge twenty nine ninety nine, thirty dollars, whatever it is, you know. You, and you're only going to give three or four cards and you're going to put some value in that. I mean, a little R&D if you're putting so much into this cardboard anyways. All right, this is really cool. I feel like it's like a, a temporary trial subscription of Norton Antivirus or something in this little this little case. We'll see what we got. Let's hurry up and wrap this up. I, I got this video running too long. All right. Oh, well, that sucks. You can... It, they didn't put it face down so that when you open this up, you know exactly that you, you have to flip it over. It's... Unless I, it's right there, facing up at you. All right, that is it. It is just one card, yep. Verdant Catacombs, pretty pimp, pretty awesome, we'll take it. That's a nice card, pretty sweet. Um, you know, you saw me open it. I opened it like that. You would have thought that it was down, face down, since so you could pull it out and flip it over. Um, unless I opened it wrong, unless I should have opened it and then pulled it out this way, I guess. But I don't know. It kind of... Oh, well. All right. Well, that's it. Verdict Catacombs, some cool stuff. Um, I like the artwork on these. I like the packaging. I think they're cool. I do speculate on these. Um, I do think that over time, these will appreciate in value. Um, not tremendously. Uh, I mean, some of them may over others, especially just depending on the artwork or the cards or the playability of it. But I think over time, uh, you know, these staying sealed, um, you know, I've got so many of these, again, that are still sealed in the, you know, white box original. Um, a lot of people crack these and, again, either in, sell them individually or they crack them and they're pulling the stained glass uh, planeswalkers out or, or what have you. Um, I've got a couple more of these. It's hard for me and tempting to not open them, wondering if I'm going to get like an arid mesa or something, but uh, I'm going to keep these and not open anymore to either use for a giveaway in the future or um, to speculate on, you know, that you know, somebody may buy it, uh, you know, somebody may buy it and pay me, I don't know, I don't even know what they're, I haven't seen any listings, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 dollars, I don't know, it beats me, but um, at any rate, that's it. Uh, just wanted you to be able to see what's out there. If you wanted to buy any of these, people are selling them individually. People are selling them as a whole set. Uh, prices are all over the place. I think I saw somebody selling one with the enemy fetch land, which I'm assuming is with this. I think I saw them for like two, two twenty nine or two something. Uh, I don't know if that was shipped or not. I have to look again. To be fair, I don't even remember what I paid for this. It was so many months ago, so I have to go back and look. But uh, for me, I like them. I collect them. Uh, I bought some this week for the National Dog Day. I bought the foil and the non-foil. I mean, I'm just, like I said, guys, I just buy stuff. So at any rate, that's it. We're done. Hope you have a good one. Look forward to talking to you all soon. Uh, stay safe. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, share. Let's grow. The more I grow, the more I can do. Talk to you all later. Deuces.